Good morning. Happy Saturday. So this weekend is actually, I'd say, pretty exciting with the amount of things that are happening. So first off, the first Dota 2 major has begun for the pro circuit of 2018 to 2019. It started Thursday night and it takes place in Malaysia. So I have been watching that every single evening from 6 p.m. to like 12 to 1 a.m. Virtus Pro played yesterday and as a sign of good luck, I was burning this candle that Shane gave me and honestly I don't believe any of that karma shit so I just thought it was funny to do so and they did end up getting to the upper bracket but I actually, so I never burn candles or anything so I just feel so wary just having this burning on the side of my house like I just get paranoid thinking about oh what if I knock it over or like there's all that wax that's all liquid while it's burning. I'm like, what the hell is this supposed to look that way? Why am I talking about candle burning? But anyways, I believe upper bracket matches are starting tonight, which is going to be very exciting because the better teams have made it to the upper bracket, so they are going to be facing each other now. And right now, there is an artifact preview tournament Saturday and Sunday this weekend. So this is the first time anybody will ever be able to see live gameplay. I just sat down, but I wanted to sit and talk because I haven't recorded all week. There's really nothing to record, nothing different has been really happening in my life. But this weekend in particular, ooh, let me sit up, Ugh, need to have good posture. This weekend is just kind of exciting to me in particular because there's three things going on. I get to watch Dota at night, I get to watch Artifact in the morning, and then I have my horseback riding lesson tomorrow. So I'm so excited to ride this week with the new barn. I want to see how that goes. I actually really like my trainer because she just seems like she has a lot of knowledge and experience and it was really enjoyable talking to her. One thing though that my trainer from the other barn did say is that I have very good posture. She says I'm very good at sitting up straight and I maintain my form while riding, which is something I'm really happy about because I tend to have wavering posture at times and it can really suck. So for instance, sitting on the couch, I've kind of noticed that I don't really think this one is designed very well for maintaining good posture. At least like when I sit up for long periods of time, I just don't feel comfortable. So I always change positions, right? And then you start slouching and then I don't really know how good that is for you for something like this but at least when I sit at my computer. I love this chair. Okay, so I have talked about this chair before in the past and I'm just gonna talk about it very briefly, but this is the Herman Miller Mira, M-I-R-R-A, -R -R -A, and I bought this in the year 2014, I believe. One year after I graduated college and I was living at home, I was getting ready to move out and at home, I was always sitting in a wooden dining table chair and I would sit there and watch movies on my computer and just watch stuff and I would be so miserable because it was so uncomfortable. So I decided to buy this chair. I got it on sale for like $500. Right now they sell the Miro 2, which I think when you first start customizing it, it's starting price is $700. So I did get it on sale, so that's good. But the thing is, this chair, I just don't see any wear on it. I mean, it is a chair. How the hell can you really abuse a chair where it just starts breaking down? So this chair, to me, I feel like this will last forever because I simply sit on it. So there's like no way that I break this chair, especially because I'm like 100 pounds. I just really like this chair because it really encourages me to sit up properly and I don't experience fatigue over long periods of time when I sit in this chair. So you, I feel like this groove that this chair has just really supports your back extremely well. One of my complaints that I realized is kind of important though is I didn't get adjustable armrests for height. So that is a problem, but I chose to buy it this way because it was on sale. I don't have any adjustable aspects of this chair, only height. It's really exciting to finally see some live artifact gameplay because I, I know there have been a ton of videos that have been out for a while by content creators like ex-pro Hearthstone players 
but I don't like watching those videos because my whole idea of this game that I'm very, very excited about is learning it from scratch. And I really want to be good at the game. Of course, who wants to be bad at a game, especially someone like me with a very competitive mentality. But um, they released a FAQ section yesterday that kind of talked about some of the game modes and what you get from purchasing the game. And they have a gauntlet game mode, which sounds similar to Hearthstone Arena, but it definitely differs a little bit. And I kind of like that idea. Like the, the stuff they talked about in the FAQ just definitely got me more excited because it has been, I don't know, three months since I've started anticipating this game. And they delayed the beta by a month which was disappointing. I'd rather they delay it and put out a good product than what Blizzard has been doing for the past 10 years. Seeing Blizzard get shit on this past week over Diablo Immortal has been so satisfying. It has been so comical to me to see them get trashed by a bunch of people, especially a ton of gamers that probably normally play their product. So. That was so great. This week was so great seeing all these memes and all these things that people were writing in the Reddit thread. Like, I have an asshole but I don't like anal <laughs> because the guy that presented the game was saying, do you guys not have phones? Basically insinuating that just because you have a phone means that you want a mobile game. Yeah, this weekend is basically a lot of watching for me tournament in the morning, then I'm going to watch the Dota 2 tournament at night, and then yeah, more horses for me tomorrow. So I have to go get Riley. she's still in the crate, sleeping soundly, and I am super excited to watch this. That's like the one scenario that I get a little bit concerned about whenever I let her out to pee. It's right across my door and that's fine and all, but it's right next to the sidewalk as well. So I can't see if there's like a pedestrian about to pass and having her off leash right there, I feel like it kind of sucks for people that don't know her and know that she won't bother them. So earlier some kid was passing by on a skateboard and you probably see it in the camera. So he didn't seem pissed. He seemed just kind of confused or surprised. And she was good. She came back as usual, but oh man, it's just hard to know when there's someone coming by. And I feel like it's not something I really want to look for every single time, checking for pedestrian through the window before I let her out. I guess I could, but you know that's gonna become so tedious. Thank you. Where's my smile? There it is. Good morning. You're so freaking cute. I am in the process of doing my oatmeal and I probably can't do this with one hand because I need to put the peanut butter in here, mix it around, and I have my banana that I will be putting in here. But I have actually been eating this oatmeal consistently since I first talked about it. So I think it's been it's been a while actually. I feel like it's been almost a month because I've been buying the ingredients for this through my groceries um, whenever I run out. And I feel like it's been so long since I've been doing this. It feels that way at least. So I'm really liking it. I'm not getting bored of it. Well, at times I do, but it has become a routine where even though I'm a little bit bored of it, um, I'm still eating it and I'm not really you know, dreading it or anything, so that's the good part. Hi, it's mid-afternoon. Man, today, today has been going by so slowly. It's only three o'clock and I'm so tired. I took a nap earlier. I was just sleeping on the couch. I don't know why I'm so exhausted. But uh, before I do my, God, it's so tedious and I'm so tired of it, but 
I'm not done with fleas yet. I got a few more bites on my foot. Or on my foot, I have like four in a row on my stomach also. I bought um, this home spray that I wanna use. So basically, oh. what I'm thinking of doing is today I'm just gonna remove all the cushions off and I'll vacuum the inside, then I'm gonna spray the inside with this and then spray this all over the top as well. And after that, I'm gonna go through the whole house, vacuum the house, vacuum the corners, the sides with a um, more precise tool that I have for my Dyson. And then I'm gonna spray this all over the side because it kind of just sucks to still have this. I mean, it's only been a couple weeks, so usually flea um, infestations kind of take a while to go away because you know their eggs and shit maybe you didn't get them all and they hatched so uh, that's still happening and I'm gonna be doing that right after but before I do that I'm kind of excited about something I bought <laughs> so the main thing I bought are boots for riding so this is a very popular brand in the horse world, Ariant, and I bought some paddock boots. Okay, this is what they look like. Not fancy looking, like my other shoes that I bought in the past, but you know what? I think I'm done with that life. <laughs> so, I am pretty excited about this pair. Do they look similar to what I see online? Yes, they do. So, they did have a version that didn't have laces, it was just a zipper in the front. But then I just felt like it looked very plain because it was just a zipper. And they usually, they usually design it so the zipper looks very hidden. So it's just all around leather and I found it a little plain. So I decided that laces would be the look that I wanted to go for. Trying to figure out whether they give me enough space in my foot. I think so. I don't feel it pressing on me much from the sides. So I think I'll probably keep them, which is a great thing, a very good thing. Um, I can definitely tell that boots like this have way more grip than sneakers because I was trying to post last week and I was finally starting to get the rhythm having a grip like this probably made a huge difference. Can't wait to wear these tomorrow. But now, <laughs> unfortunately, I am burdened with the task of flea prevention in the house. Oh. been passing by so slow it feels like six o'clock now um, it's also blowing my mind that the artifact preview tournament is still going on it's been on since nine in the morning and it's supposed to go today and tomorrow but I didn't expect to I just didn't expect it to still be going on so what I have kind of noticed at least is that I don't know, I think for me personally, um, spectating a card game is kind of boring. It's definitely nothing compared to Dota. So I kind of lost interest in watching it a while ago. I did like learning about the cards and what they had, but you know, it's still the most fun to learn by playing. So I just don't really feel like watching anymore. I have it on the side right now. 
it's, I'm glancing at it a little bit, but um, I just finished watching Time Freak with Asa Butterfield, who I do really like. And this film did have a plot I didn't like, which is where his girlfriend, Sophie Turner from Game of Thrones, breaks up with him and then he creates a time machine and goes back to try to change it. And I really don't like plots like that. I feel like I feel like when they come up with that idea for a plot, they think it's supposed to be romantic, I guess. But to me, it's really not something I approve of because most of the time when they go back and try to change things, they are not themselves because they try to avoid conflict or they try to make themselves more likable to their girlfriend by just adjusting things about themselves and that's such a bad idea. You should never change yourself for somebody else. I did enjoy watching the movie but there were certain moments where I just disapproved so it was not pleasant to watch at times but Overall, my experience was enjoyable, although, of course, a movie like this is nothing amazing. I've been eating healthy. I have been ordering from Sprouts, the farmer's market, and I'm really liking it, eating a lot of fruit, and I've been cooking, and I did buy out yesterday, but it had been like eight days since I ate out, so I was really happy about that, and I wanted to buy out kind of to celebrate watching Virtus Pro, if that makes any sense. I tend to really like the idea of, ooh, eating something fun and delicious when I'm watching something that I'm really excited about, so I got a salad. <laughs> so right now there is still Artifact going on, and something interesting that I learned is that one of the Dota 2 Pro players, Kuroki, he won the International last year. Um, he is actually one of the top eight players, so I thought that was really cool. I have to get ready for horseback riding soon. I leave in like 15 minutes, so I already ate breakfast. I kind of wish that Valve could release Artifact this week instead of next week because if they're doing a tournament on it, it just feels like it's at a state where it's definitely playable, but it is coming out on beta on the 19th, which is Monday. And that is also the week before Thanksgiving, which is kind of cool because I get two days off for Thanksgiving and I can just play Artifact all day. I am considering taking a sick day on Monday because I've only taken one sick day all year. I am a healthy person, so I just don't get sick. I don't think I remember the last time I had a very, very severe fever, so I likely not going to be sick the rest of the year so I kind of want to just use one and uh, this is a good reason to use it. <laughs> Here is what I got on. Nothing special of course but sometimes I'm just I'm so not used to wearing something like this like this kind of boot with my jeans tucked in. I actually really hate when there's like bunched up jean around here that would basically mean I need to wear super, super skinny jeans, the ones that hug your leg like crazy. Or actually, I might consider buying pants that just hug my legs and have them specifically for riding. Just cause like, I know it sounds stupid, but whenever it comes to an activity, I still really like to wear the appropriate clothing that feels good for me. So even though it sounds stupid that jeans punching up bothers me, I don't like it at all, so I would like to avoid it if possible, and pants actually do feel more comfortable than jeans would be because pants would have more stretch and um, be, you know, more flexible. Jeans really don't allow for that, especially the kind that I have, but ugh, look at this. Look at this. Ugh. Makes me sad, but I think they're at the state where the itchiness is going away. And then I got one more on my arm. I gotta go now. Hello. I have been back from riding for a while. I took her for a nice walk. That was a very nice walk. I really enjoyed it. But today's lesson was actually 
really cool. So what I was really happy about was that she decided to get the horse ready for me for riding. That way I could ride for most of the hour and it was actually a really long lesson. It felt like a long lesson even though it was just an hour. So I was riding on lead but it didn't really bother me because I was focused more on I guess my posture and just getting all the technique down. So today we practiced a lot of trotting and posting. So I wore my new boots today and I definitely noticed a huge difference because before my foot was like slipping through the stirrups but this time it was fine for the most part. And I think I really noticed an improvement throughout my lesson where I was just posting very well. It's so much work on your legs, so I definitely felt that. But we did a posting trot, and then we also did a trot where I would sit in the saddle and just try to minimize the bouncing by really pushing my heels down and tucking my butt in and keeping it in the saddle. So. I really had a good time this week. It's just, I feel so good after lessons. <sighs> but anyways, aside from that, today, I'm just gonna be chilling at home. And uh, I'm happy and excited to do so because I'm exhausted.